how to uh, unjam your gun. Right. Amen. Right? But if you've been trained that blah, 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 when the fire is happening to unjam your gun, you can return fire and win the, and win the battle. Amen. And so what happened in the church is, is that we don't want to teach people about suffering and, and it's disarming the saints. So when they get in a, in a storm, they want to give out on God. But if I told you that life will bring you storms, but you can make it to the other side, you are already prepared for the battle. Thank you, Jesus. Next verse. We got to get out of here. Next verse. Next verse. Next verse. It says, uh, he said to them, why are you so afraid? Mm. But they got Jesus on the boat with them. They got God manifested in the flesh on the boat with them, y'all. Right? And so, they, they, they're, they're so, they said, why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? Yes, yes. Well, but why did Jesus say that, have you still no faith? The reason I believe Jesus said that is because if they would have just referenced back to all the miracles that they saw Jesus do, yes. yep. and they would know it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be strange for him to control the weather because whoever controls the weather is the creator of the weather. Yes. Oh, yeah. Y'all yeah. see that? Yeah. Yes. And what Jesus was really displaying, I am the Son of God. Yes. I am the coming That's Messiah. God. And Jesus was like, y'all still don't got no faith? Did you see That's me turn God. water into wine? Yeah. Did you see me take two fish and five loaves of bread and multiply it? Yes. How yes. you saw the miracles? Well, let's not be too hard on the disciples because that's some of us. Yes, God has done is. miracles for us. Run us out of drug addiction. Run us out of sex addiction. Yes, but they put food on the table. Come but on. we still down even though we experience miracles. Amen. Somebody say, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. When are you going to realize that God got you? It don't matter if they don't show up, God still got you. Yeah. It don't matter if you didn't get that, pro that promotion, God still got you. Yeah. Matter of fact, God is just pushing you out the door and say, go get your business. Yeah. Still got it. How, how do you know that? I said, I remember my wife, she got her master's degree in business administration, her MBA. Mm -hmm. And as she was getting her master's degree, uh, another company took over her company that she was working for, and uh, they fired all the management. She didn't cry about that. She prayed about it, and she started her business. And now she made five times more than what she was getting paid for the people that fired her and all the other companies. See, you're looking at your storm as a curse, but really it's a blessing. God's preparing you for something greater and bigger. But you gotta get your mind right, you gotta get your thinking right so that your life can change. The Bible says he works together all things for what? For our good. To get closer to him. Yes, he's intentional. Yes, Lord. Okay. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Verse number 41, we gotta get out of here. Verse 41 says this. Verse 41. Yes. Oh, it's already there. My bad. Take your time. Woo. Okay. Take your time. You are so. Let me take my time. Yeah. Because I am a teacher. Yes, sir. Amen. Good one. Amen. Now, don't, don't fool yourself. I'll come back around with Bibles and preach too. <laughs> don't be living in a pastor movie to know that. <laughs> yes, sir. I got it. <laughs> uh, that's, that's my boy right there, Pastor Boone. They know me. All right, verse 21 says this, and they were filled with great fear yes. and said one another, who then is this? Who is it? Right? Uh -huh. like, who is this? Who is this? Yeah. Now, this ain't no ordinary man. Like, who is this? <laughs> who, who can speak to the weather and say, peace be still, <laughs> and the wind says, cease <laughs> immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? But right. like, who is this? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, I want to let you know that this text, most importantly, it reveals, once again, his identity as the Son of God. The miracle itself shows God's presence and power because only the Creator has the complete control over the elements of the weather. The miracle allows the disciples to increase their faith concerning Jesus' deity, that he is truly 
the Son of God. Yes. Truly the Son of God. The Son of God. And I want to let you know, as I get ready to close today, come on, young man, that if you just put your trust in Jesus, yeah. Yes. You can have peace in the midst of a storm. Yes, you can. I want to let you know that, yes, life does not ask you permission to bring unexpected storms. But I want to let you know that you will get to the other side and God will make a way if you just trust yes. Jesus. Yes. 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 I want to let you know that the Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Yes. Whoever yes. believes should not perish, but what? Have yes. everlasting yes. life. And guess what? You won't only have everlasting life, but you can have everlasting peace. Yes. Because he said, I left you a comforter. Yes. Called the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Oh. Yes. Somebody say, I'm a quit for the storm. I'm a quit for the storm. storm. I, 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 yes, yes, I am. Yes, I know you don't want to hear some of this, but baby, it's life. Yes. Yes. And like an old man told me, if you're not in a storm right now, just keep on living long enough. Yeah. What I'm telling you about these life's tools, one day you're going to need to pull it out your back pocket and yeah. yeah. get through the storm. Yeah. Right. Wow. Go ahead. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I got to be real. Life ain't fair sometimes. Yeah, right. Come on. But guess what? You can win if you got the right mentality. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I understand you've been through some pains and some trials. Yeah. So I have too. Right. We, all have. Yeah. we all have. But I know some people that are still stuck in their pain and still complaining yeah. and nothing changed in their life. Yeah. Yeah. But the flip side, I know some people that say, you know what? I'm going to turn my pain into purpose. Yeah. 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 Somebody looked at you and said, turn your pain into purpose. Turn right. your pain into purpose. 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 All right. That's your next book. That's your next nonprofit. That's your next business. Because guess what? You're not the only one that experienced pain. Right, right, You're not the right. only one that went through a storm. That's right. right. See, God is turning your storm into a testimony yes, so is. that you can tell men about Jesus. Yes. And now as God elevates you yes. for elevating him, people are going to be drawn to you. Yes. Uh, uh, people are going to be attracted to you. Yes. And the bag is going to chase you. Not because you're looking for the bag. It's because you're trusting God and you're chasing your purpose. That's right. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay, let me read some scriptures. Uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 says this. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And what? All oh, these other things they got on you. Yes. In other words, God's going to take care of your needs. You don't got to worry. Yes, that's right. Amen. Amen. That's good. That's, good. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Hey, everybody, stand to the feet. That's good. Let's play some soft music. That's good, Pastor.